So uh, obviously your move here kind of came late in the cycle, late in the process. What was it like when you got that call? How, how did you process that decision with the timing of it? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was to, to get a call from Coach Riley is like a dream come true, you know, and it's, it's something and I was I was actually in meetings when I was at TCU and I looked down at my phone and was looking around it and I looked at my players and I kind of had a look, look on my face. They're like, Coach, are you all right? I said, yeah, I'm fine. And then I kind of ended the meeting early a little bit and, and, and gave him a call back. So it's been it's been fun ever since. What are your thoughts on the depth of the running back room and could you look to add a transfer in the next cycle? Yeah, I, I think it's a good room. Uh, about adding a transfer, we don't know yet. we got to see what the numbers look like. We'll sit down with Coach Riley out for spring ball and it's just just kind of wait and see. But so far, so good. We like we like the four scholarship guys that's, that's in the room right now. It, it's a great mixture, right? you got an older guy in, in Woody Marks. you got three younger guys. I guess you got two younger guys. you got a real young guy in Brian Jackson, who's only 17 years old right now. So I uh, like the room. I love the chemistry of the room. Those guys compete. And, 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 and the good thing about it is they're unselfish. I know it's early on, but what if What's kind of been your impression of Woody so far? Yeah, he's a worker, man. He, he's smart, number one. He's a great person, a uh, great person. He's smart, he's humble, and he wants to get better, right? Like, he's a kid who's played a lot of college football back in Mississippi State, and, and he understands the game. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm his fourth running back coach, so he's had a lot of turnover. So, obviously, coming in new and fresh is something that I was happy to have him in the room for how sure. Much, sorry, how much carryover has there been from – Garrett's offense to Lincoln. Uh, I knew I was going to get that question. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's some, but it's not as much as you think because the terminology is different a little bit. So when I was with Garrett, we called something one thing, and we two called it, right? So it can be left something and right something. Well, left something is the same, but right something is completely different, which screws my mind up mentally. I'm like, I thought y'all was brothers, man. Like, <laughs> keep the same system for me. Make it easy on me. But it's been good. Systems, football is football, right? Concepts are concepts. It's just really good uh, terminology. Yeah. Since you got here, have you gotten up to speed? What's the transition been like? Kind of catching up? Uh, it's been cold. It's been raining. So <laughs> that's been the transition for me. But other than that, it's been it's been good. I've, just just when you think you're caught up, uh, something else happens, you know, and it's, it's kind of, re, re, you got to retake your breath yeah. again and, and do all of that good stuff. But it's been fun. The, the uh, people here have been great. Everybody's been super helpful and nice. So, it's been fun. We always hear about players learning new offense. What's it like for a coach learning new offense? Oh, uh, I think it's tougher for me. I'm old. I'm getting older now. So I think those guys are resilient. They're a lot smarter than I am. But it's been good. Though, right? I've, I've had I've had the chance in my career with some to work with some of the greatest offensive minds in college football. Right? When you think of Mike Norvell, you think of Kenny Dillingham at Arizona State, you think of Sonny Dice and Garrett Riley. And, uh, Kevin Johns with OC at Duke. I've had a chance. I've been privileged, right, to work with some of the greatest offensive minds. And just to come here and to learn up on the Lincoln and his system, it's been fun. So it's been a lot of a lot of long nights, but it's been it's been extremely fun to, to learn his offense. What did that you, first call to when you accepted the job? How much time passed? How long did it take to sell you on it? Uh, probably about two or three days. You know, and, and it really didn't take me that long. It was just a logistical everything. Uh, what do you tell your family? What do you tell TCU? What do you? I uh, what, what's this stuff about LA? Is it too much traffic in LA? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! The taxes in LA. Uh, because uh, NFL team actually reached out first, mm -hmm. you know, and I actually turned that one down. Uh, but it was it was just wrapping my mind around just LA. I've only been here one time before, and that was for the national championship, mm -hmm. and, and obviously that didn't go so well. But other than that, it's been it's been. Good. What made you want to stay in college versus taking an NFL opportunity? Yeah, I love color. I love I love kids. Uh, I love the growth potential. And I love seeing a young man go from point A to point B to point C in the graduation. Like that's that's my thing exactly. And nothing against the NFL. I think the NFL is great, uh, but they're grown men. They're, they are millionaires, right? So let me let me let me get the 17 to 18 year olds that. That's that's still eager to learn. That's still eager to want to get better, right? And I, I mean, it's, it's college football, right? Like it's it's the greatest sport God has ever created. You think about all the rivalries and the tailgates and and all the extra stuff, right? It's it's just what it's, it's kind of who I am. This is what is what I was kind of born to do. On, on that note, what are some of the characteristics you look for when you're recruiting like that? Yeah, just a smart, tough, fast kid, right? Uh, you can put them in any order you want to put them in, but smart, tough, and fast. If they're fast, we like them. If they're really fast, we love them, right? So uh, I've had, just like I've had a great uh, chance of, of, of working with some great offensive minds, 
throughout my career I've coached some really, really, really good backs, right? You talk about Daryl Henderson's of the world, Tony Paulus, Kenneth Gainwell, uh, Patrick Taylor, Tony Gibson, and three guys at TCU of money, Kendra and uh, and uh, Mario DeMicardo, who's actually from LA, you get a chance to work with those guys, right? Those are NFL guys. So you kind of get you kind of get spoiled by working with such great players, but those guys have all done it on their own, and, and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. What's going to be known as you tailback know, you? You walk through the hall, which, which one of those running backs is going to jump? All of them, right? When you look at Marcus Allen and, and you look at Reggie Bush, so my wife loved Reggie Bush. So when I took his job, she had the twinkle in her eye. Uh, and when I walked in my office, she walked in. It's a Reggie Bush picture right there, right? So I don't know how long that this marriage is going to last between me and my wife because she has a, a great crush on uh, Reggie Bush. But, I mean, you, know, you think about it, right? Just not only just uh, Lindell White and just recently, right, with Marshawn and what Austin done and what Travis Dive done. Like, it's been a great history of running back here. Uh, Quentin Joyner was he just a young guy. Yeah, he, he's, he's young, but he's explosive. He's just like Woody, right? Just really eager to learn. Uh, I absolutely love Quinn. I had the chance to recruit Quinn back when I was at TCU as well. Uh, obviously, I told him when I came in, I, I completely understand why you chose this place over TCU. Uh, it's no no, no home or, or foul to TCU at all. But you, know, you think about USC, you think about the city of LA, you think about the college, you think about the university, the academics. Right, it's just it's just a great opportunity. He, he's shown, and the thing I like about Quinn is that he's shown growth. Right, he, he's a young man who went for practice one. We just finished practice seven, I believe, and you can see the growth of, of his game. What did you use, or who did you go to to answer those questions about Los Angeles and, and USC and, and making the move? Uh, so I actually prayed a lot, but I don't think God right gave me a clear answer. So I was still kind of wondering a little bit. Uh, but I just, no, I just, I just relied on my faith, to be honest. You know what I mean? And then you get opportunity to work with a guy like Lincoln Riley and his staff. You can't turn that opportunity down, right? And to be at USC, uh, it's a program that I grew up watching from afar, back in my hometown of Memphis, and watching the Rose Bowl games. And you, you got all the greats that, that played here. So it was, to me, after a while, you sit down and you think about it, and when your wife looked over and said, baby, let's do it, let's go step out on faith, and... When I brought my kids down, they said, Daddy, have you signed yet? And we just pulled up to the university. That kind of, that was my confirmation that. Mm -hmm. so.